once again to another Hoftastic episode of Hoff Talk TV. I am your host, Robert Knight. You can follow me on Twitter at Robert Knight underscore. And of course, you can follow our show at Hoff Talk. And don't forget, follow the man himself at David Hasselhoff. I want to thank everybody for checking us out again this week. And of course, the big thing going on this week. There's a lot of sharks flying around. It's half crazy and it's half nuts, but Sharknado 3 premiered on July the 22nd at 9 p.m. on the Sci-Fi Network, and it was half-tastic. It's going to be airing in repeats throughout the week and on the weekend. It's going to be released on DVD very soon, and you definitely want to check it out. David was half-tastic. To Hoffinity and beyond, as he says in the movie, Definitely was worth the wait. You want to pick up the DVD when it's available. And the cool story behind it is David is hoping to appear in Sharknado 4. There's already been talk about the movie being made. And, of course, David Hasselhoff will be brought back, in fact, when Sharknado 4 um, goes into production. So if you haven't checked it out, you definitely, definitely don't want to miss it. I don't want to give too many things away, but... It's definitely worth checking out. You want to see the first two movies as well. You don't have to, but um, it, it's caught on the past couple of years, the Sharknado craze. It's it's beyond ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that it's funny. Um, if, you, if you've seen Piranha 3 Double D that David made a couple of years back, it's along that same vein. It's, it, it's out there. You have to have um, a, a half sense of humor. We should say, be a little off your rocker to check it out. But Sharknado 3 on the Sci-Fi Network, on demand and soon to be coming on DVD. You want to check it out. David's UK series, Hoff the Record, aired its sixth and final episode. And um, definitely the entire series was amazing. As I mentioned um, in last week's episode, Hoff the Record will be coming to DVD. It's going to be released in the UK, so you want to order it at Amazon.co.uk. And um, in this day and age, almost all DVD players and computers can pick up different formats. So I believe it's scheduled to re be released on a PAL format. But um, a as I said, most DVD players will, will definitely play that. So if you're around the world and you want to check it out, which I highly recommend you do, it's coming to DVD this coming November. For Off the Charts this week, I have these two CDs in front of me. David's 1992 release, Everybody's Sunshine, and one of the singles from the album, The Girl Forever. Now, this is one of my very favorite albums of David's. As I mentioned, it came out in 1992. Uh, David Hasselhoff had the official song of the International Youth Games, and the song is called Everybody's Sunshine. If you've had an opportunity to see David live in concert, um, even his m most previous concerts, uh, tour in 2011 as well as his concert DVD that came out titled The Hoff is Back. David does perform the song there. He still performs it live in concert. It's, um, it's one of his favorites to perform and it's a very cool song. But the album itself it was a departure from David's previous albums that came out on the White Records and Areola Music label. Um, it was still produced by Jack White, but it definitely had more of a country feel to it. In fact, my favorite song on the album is one of my favorite all-time songs that David has performed, and the song is called Somewhere in a Dream. And um, recently, David did a, an interview with Vivo, 60 Seconds with the Hoff, and during that 60 Seconds where fans got to ask him questions, he actually answered my question regarding the song Somewhere in a Dream and about performing it live in concert. So, a little side note there, but look for that um, interview on YouTube by Vivo. Back to the album, Everybody's Sunshine, 1992. Definitely has a country feel. It um, had the singles Everybody's Sunshine as well as The Girl Forever. And Darling I Love You was released um, sparingly as a single as well. It's actually the second song on this single, The Girl Forever. Now the reason that I bring up the single from this album is, not sure many of you know this, but if you have an opportunity to pick up the CD single, it is a completely different studio recording of The Girl Forever. It's not the same album version. It's actually not even a different mix. It's a completely different studio recording of the song. Um, it's, it's noticeably different. It's a very cool song. David has also performed this song live quite a bit. Then you can find um, different performances on television so shows throughout Europe on YouTube. But The Girl Forever is a favorite of his to perform. And like I said, you still see this single floating around a little bit. So keep your eyes peeled on eBay and on Amazon and things like that. So again, it's um, a little bit of inside information for those of you that, that don't tend to buy singles that stick with the full albums. Um, 
every once in a while you, you find a gem like that. So The Girl Forever, completely different studio recording on this single, which is why I brought it to you this week on Off the Charts. Now if there's an album of David's, if there's a single, if there's a live performance, if there's anything music related that you would like to see featured on our segment Off the Charts, Tweet us at Hoff Talk or comment here below. Let us know because we're open to anything and everything. We want to bring it to David's fans around the world. And as I mentioned previously, this show is about you. So let's keep it that way. I want to thank our two previous fans of the week on Hoff Talk TV, Gordon Sammons and Sandy Potsky. And I want to remind everybody that you could be featured as David Hasselhoff's Hoff Talk TV Fan of the Week. All you have to do is tweet us at Hoff Talk. You can also find us on Facebook at Hoff Talk. Send us a message. Send us a comment. You know, tweet us. Let us know you are a big fan of David's. Tell us why. Send us pictures of your collection and you can be featured as the David Hasselhoff Hoff Talk TV Fan of the Week. I want to remind everybody, you can add to your David Hasselhoff collection by going to DavidHasselhoffOnline.com and clicking on the Shop tab. That will link you to the only exclusive David Hasselhoff merchandise store on the internet. It's all licensed by the man himself, David Hasselhoff. Pick up your official, official licensed David Hasselhoff merchandise. T-shirts, CDs, mugs, bracelets, towels, you name it. It's got the Hoff on it and you can own it. Now you can also check out, aside from DavidHasselhoffOnline.com, check out David.net. Um, on Facebook and on Twitter. Their website, dhasselhoff.net, is also um, under reconstruction and will be back up again very, very soon. So those two David outlets should be your force of David information. Anything and everything related to David, check it out. DavidHasselhoffOnline.com, which is David's official website, as well as dhasselhoff.net for the latest and greatest information on the man himself, David Hasselhoff. I want to thank everybody once again for checking us out on Hoff Talk TV. Remember to send your suggestions, tweet us, tweet David and let him know that you're a fan of Hoff Talk TV. I'm sure he would love to hear it. I also want to thank my good friends at Tight Jeans Films for making this all possible and bringing you Hoff Talk TV each and every week. Subscribe to Tight Jeans Films. There's a lot of great things coming and a lot of cool things have already been released by Tight Jeans Films. There's some very cool series that are available, including Steven Spencer's Spectacular Reviews, as well as Dean's YouTube Safe Music Reviews, the only YouTube Safe Music Reviews on the internet. So my good friends at Tight Jeans Films, thank you very much. To all the fans around the world, David Hasselhoff, thank you very much for tuning in, and we will catch you in the next episode of Hoff Talk TV. And until then, remember, as always, one man can make a difference.